What's crappin' in y'all, and welcome to the Mistlands Fishing Guide. Now, with the most recent update, fishing is a skill, and the more that you level it, the less stamina it will take to reel the fish in, which is going to be useful now that fish can vary in size and have a quality scale of 1 to 3. 3, of course, being the largest and producing the most amount of raw fish at a cauldron. Now, as always, to begin your fishing experience in Valheim, you will have need to have located Haldor the Trader in the Black Forest already, as he has the fishing rod and the initial fishing bait needed to get this party started. So after using your starter bait to catch perch and pike in the meadows, we will be ready to create some mossy bait for the Black Forest. To craft the mossy bait, you will need to be at a cauldron and you will need one perch and one troll trophy. This will grant you 40 mossy bait which in turn you can come offshore of the black forest and fish for trollfish. That would be these big blue beasties hopping about right here. Now, after landing a few trollfish, we'll be able to combine one abomination trophy and one trollfish to create some sticky bait, which is of course the bait for giant herrings offshore of the swamps. A more dangerous location to fish since we have leeches and blobs and droggers constantly spawning and attacking so it's generally safer to park in a neighboring biome where you can see a school and just kind of cast into the swamp but by combining one of these giant herrings and a fullian trophy we can create stingy bait which is a ridiculous name by the way i keep wanting to call it stinky that sure would put some stinky bait but now this bait is used offshore of the plains to catch groupers it's good to note that you should always bring some stamina meads because as you might run into some higher quality fish and you may need an extra bar of stamina because as you can tell it almost took two whole bars to catch that grouper right there but these big fuckers right here combined with one lox trophy will allow us to create some misty fishing bait which if you couldn't guess from the name that's the bait we need to fish offshore in the mistlands here we can catch puffer fish and anglers to hang on our walls, make some pretty new lights, and to me this is definitely the coolest and most detailed fish they've added by far, so the Miss Lands fishies get a little extra kudos from me. So after snagging an angler, you can combine it with one Sirloin trophy to create some hot fishing bait, of course being used in the Ashlands the only hot biome to catch magma fish which in my experience seem to be the stupidest or slash easiest fish to catch in the game so cheers to destroying the population number of magma fish on your servers but moving into the deep north now if you take one magma fish and one drake trophy you can craft frosty fishing bait which is used to catch the northern salmon these long orange jamokes right here which you know i'm just grateful to have a reason to sail all around Valheim now to all the different biomes even if it is just to collect fishing trophies you know what I mean but moving into one of the last tiers of fishing bait heavy bait which is crafted by combining one pike and one serpent trophy and is used in the ocean biome to fish on the bottom of the ocean so the wiki has this listed as the highest tier of fishing bait and I assume that's because even though you can catch pike early on it still takes a while to land a serpent trophy but this is definitely not the hardest fish to find we'll get that in a second so with this bait it will allow you to catch tuna and coral cod deep in the oceans so this is definitely an awesome new addition for the inevitable long sea voyages that you're bound to have to take during your Valheim playthrough but with the use of one of these tunas and a fin ring trophy you can craft cold fishing bait which can be used to catch pikes but i would say it's designed for these tetras right here to find these fish you first need to find a frost cave inside of a mountain biome with a thawed lake in it now these lakes vary in size and can be frozen and thawed and the frozen lakes do not have tetras in them unfortunately usually you find like a campfire with a fishing pole next to it so this definitely makes the tetra cave fish one of the rarest mobs in the game but here's a tip to help you find them. You know, I heard recently the 04 AM, another YouTuber mentioned that the island he found his cave lake on had all six finished biomes on it. So using that as my starting point, I then went to the first island that I saw with all completed biomes on it, and lo and behold, Tetra cave fish right off the gate. Now this is still just a theory. I've tested it on four other islands on different seeds and have found either frozen lakes or thawed lakes on every island with all six completed biomes. So the conclusion is looking pretty good, mind you. So comment down below and let me know how your luck goes and if you can help solidify this hypothesis for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, hit that like button for me and subscribe for more content, as always. And I'll catch you sloppy fuckers in the next one.